Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Just as I promised, I'm sticking to that light theme this week and I'm gonna cook us up some Mahi fillets. And on the side, we're gonna have a little mango salad. These are really easy, simple fillets to make. And let me show you what we're gonna start off with. We've got some extra virgin olive oil that we're just gonna coat these down with. And these I picked up at Sammy Seafood from Nick over at Sammy Seafood. And they are absolutely fresh and ready to go. You want to make sure you get some really fresh fillets because it will make a big difference. You want to get these all coated down, coated really good in, in olive oil. All right, now that we've got this coated in olive oil, I'm going to add a little sandia pepper to this. It's a beautiful, beautiful red pepper that Pam and I picked up in Sedona. I'm sure you can pick them up here at some of the local La Tiendas and stuff. But these I bought already dried and I just crushed them up in my little coffee grinder that I use for my seasoning. We'll really get them coated good. Just rub that in. I'm going to do them on both sides. That's probably what we'll do is we'll flip these once we get them in. Beautiful color to this. A real pretty dish. A little bit more spots where I picked it up. Set that aside. I'm going to wash my hands off here. Now that we've got our fish coated, we're going to move it over to our broil pan. Now I've got my oven already on, my broiler set at a high heat. We're just going to lay these fish on here. Take this, get it in the oven. And we're going to let that cook probably for about five minutes or so and then we're going to flip sides and get that other side going. In the meantime, we're gonna to put together our salad. Okay, let's get our salad put together. Now what I've got, I've got one large mango that I've cut up, kind of cubed a little. I've got, probably gonna want about, let's measure this out, I want about a third of a cup of pickled onion. And you could do this raw, you don't have to pickle these. I just really enjoy that pickled onion taste and I think the uh, the lime juice that I use to pickle it in will give it a little extra flavor. That acid will play against that sweet. Okay. Then also I've got a half a jalapeno pepper and one whole large red bell pepper. Get that all stirred up. how pretty that is. All right, we'll leave that right there. And then also to this, the last thing I'm going to add to it is an avocado. And I'm waiting till the last minute to cut this up. I don't want it all turning brown on me. Pop that off. Take this handy little kitchen gadget. Cut that right up. This all stirred up. Let's set this aside and pull this out. Look how pretty that fish is. Good does that look? A little bit of our salad on the side here. All right, spin this thing around. Let's give this a try. Moist that fish is. Mm. Oh, folks, that mahi is delicious. And that sandia pepper that I put on there, oh, that spice that it gives it, it's not too hot. It's not a, not a little hot, hot spice. Well, it's just enough. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's In the Kitchen with Ken, and I hope you give this recipe a try. We'll see you next time. Bye now.